During the Cold War, the United States and Soviet Union had large fleets of strategic bombers. These huge aircraft were designed to strike ground and naval targets by dropping air-to-ground weaponry, torpedoes, and nuclear weapons. The United States B-52 Stratofortress and Russia's Tu-95 are two of the world's longest-serving aircraft. We thought it would be interesting to match the capabilities of these legendary aircraft and try to determine which aircraft is better. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. The Boeing B-52 is an American long-range jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52's official name is Stratofortress, however it is informally called Buff. It has been in service with the U.S. Air Force since 1955. Despite the introduction of newer aircraft, the B-52 remains operational due to its superior performance and low operating costs. A total of 744 B-52s of all variants have been built so far. The aircraft is operated by a crew of five. The jet comes in at an empty weight of 185,000 pounds and can take off with a maximum weight of 488,000 pounds. On the other hand, the Tu-95 is considered not only as a weapons platform, but as a symbol of Soviet and Russian national prestige. The Tu-95 is a four-engine turboprop-powered strategic bomber and missile platform. The NATO reporting name of the aircraft is BEAR. The Tu-95 is one of the fastest propeller planes, capable of going over 500 miles per hour. The aircraft entered service with the Soviet Air Force in 1956 and is expected to serve the Russian Air Force until 2040. More than 500 Tu-95s have been built so far. A crew of six to seven people is required to operate the aircraft. The empty weight of the Tu-95 is 198,416 pounds and can lift a maximum weight of 414,469 pounds. Number two. The jet is powered by eight Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, producing 136,000 pounds of thrust combined. The aircraft's top speed is 650 miles per hour, and it can cruise at a speed of 509 miles per hour. With a ferry range of 10,145 miles, the aircraft can combat within the radius of 8,800 miles. The jet can climb at a rate of 6,270 feet per minute and can reach a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet. The aircraft has a payload capacity of 70,000 pounds of mixed ordnance in various configurations. The B-52 was also armed with a remote-controlled 20mm cannon, which was removed in 1991 from all operational aircraft. In contrast, the Bear is powered by only four turboprop engines, capable of generating 60,000 pounds of thrust combined. However, the aircraft can still travel at a maximum speed of 575 miles per hour and can cruise at a speed of 441 miles per hour. With maximum range of 9,300 miles, the Bear can conduct combat operations within the radius of 3,977 miles. The aircraft can climb at a rate of 2,000 feet per minute and can reach a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet. The Tu-95 has the capacity to carry a mix of weapons payload of 33,000 pounds. The aircraft is outfitted with two 23mm cannons in the tail turret. Number 3. The B-52 was designed to carry nuclear weapons for Cold War era deterrence missions. During that time, some squadrons of B-52 aircraft armed with nuclear bombs were kept in the air around the clock. However, the B-52 has dropped only conventional munitions in combat so far. Similarly, the Tu-95 was initially designed to carry out nuclear strikes. It was later modified to perform a wide range of roles, such as the deployment of cruise missiles, maritime patrol, early warning operations, and it was even converted into a civilian airliner. Number 4. Over the years, the B-52 was upgraded with the latest avionics, softwares, and weapon systems to counter ongoing threats. The new active electronically scanned array radar is based on Raytheon's APG-79 and APG-82. The radar features enhanced navigation accuracy, high-resolution mapping, target detection, and tracking. For an increased level of situational awareness, the B-52 is equipped with new computer architecture, Link-16 tactical data link, and an advanced wideband terminal. The aircraft is outfitted with infrared flare dispensers and chaff dispenser. The new radar and avionics modernization program will keep the B-52 operational till 2050 and beyond. 
Similarly, the Russian Tu-95 has been upgraded with the latest weapon systems, modern avionics and engines. The aircraft is equipped with new radar, capable of tracking both surface and air threats. The aircraft is equipped with dedicated sensors for weather, navigation, and gunfire control. The aircraft is equipped with an infrared information display system and the Meteor Airborne Defense Complex. The Bear is outfitted with electronic countermeasures pods and a terrain bounce jammer to counter the approaching radar-guided missiles. The Tu-95 is also equipped with chaff and flare decoy dispensers. Number 5. With 70,000 pounds of weapons payload, the B-52 can be armed with a wide array of weaponry. In this day and age, the B-52 is no longer required to carry nuclear weapons. However, the aircraft has the capacity to carry 12 nuclear-tipped cruise missiles, 20 air-launched cruise missiles, and 8 nuclear bombs. Nowadays, the aircraft is usually armed with conventional weapons like harpoon missiles, raptor missiles, conventional air-launched cruise missiles, joint standoff weapons, joint direct attack munitions, and wind-corrected munitions dispenser weapons. The aircraft is armed with next-generation smart weapons like joint air-to-surface standoff missiles, small-diameter weapons on rotary launchers, and boost-phase interceptors. Receptors. The aircraft is outfitted with a lightning laser targeting pod. This beast can also deploy up to 300,000 pounds of Navy mines. On the other hand, the Tu-95 can be armed with 33,000 pounds of weapons payload with different combinations of missiles and ordnance. The aircraft features a big weapons compartment in the center of the plane, where it can carry six KH-55 nuclear-armed long-range cruise missiles. The KH-55 comes in both conventional and nuclear warheads with a range up to 1,864 miles. The aircraft can also be fitted with an air-launched cruise missile armed with a thermonuclear warhead. The aircraft can deploy anti-ship missiles and conventionally armed air launch cruise missiles. The Bear can also carry a wide variety of both guided and unguided munitions. A twin-barreled cannon is mounted in the rear turret box. Though both aircraft are visually similar, it is the state of their technology which sets them apart. The U.S. has extended the service life of the B-52 and spends a considerable amount on upgrades. Over the years, the Tu-95 has also received upgrades, but the B-52 has been outfitted with completely new engines, cockpit, and avionics. These upgrades make the B-52 perform better in terms of weight-carrying capacity, top speed, ferry range, climb rate, and service ceiling. Both aircraft are extremely loud. However, the coaxial propeller blades of the Bear make it one of the loudest military aircraft. The Bear has a larger radar cross-section, but the B-52 doesn't do well in this particular area. However, in today's age and time, the stealth is not all that matters to these giant aircraft. Their mission is more of a standoff one. Their heavy payload and long range means they can carry a series of advanced munitions such as cruise missiles, precision-guided weapons, and air-to-surface missiles. The advanced cruise missile ranges, combined with the bomber's electronic warfare systems, countermeasures, and fighter jet escorts, ensure these two iconic bombers will continue to serve their respective nations till the 2050s or longer. So what are your thoughts about which aircraft is better? The United States B-52 Stratofortress or Russia's Tu-95 Bear? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.